Hello, my name is Desiree, and I just threw together this quick video in order to quickly explain when we might leverage route maps and how to actually set them up. What I did was I actually started uh, with some of our CCMP route uh, courseware and just wanted to kind of expand upon that uh, with the whiteboard here. Then we'll get into some CLI and look at an example of the configuration. So ideally, when we think of route maps, what we're going to be thinking of is an if-then scenario. Now, if you are 16 years old, then you can get behind the wheel of a car. So instead of an if and then though, what we're gonna be leveraging is a match and set infrastructure. So match is going to be, what are we matching on? What range of IP addresses? Or uh, do we wanna to point to something like an ACL or a prefix list. Set, what is it that we're going to be doing? Are we going to be doing something like changing our next top? Um, also, the whole purpose, the whole reason why we want, might want to leverage route maps is to get really specific on what we want to filter on. So in addition to being able to go in and manually do things like change the next top, we can also do things like change our BGP attributes or maybe change our default metrics. So uh, we can really get in and get very particular about what it is that we want to match and set. So uh, very powerful. Route maps are extremely um, beneficial for a lot of different use cases. Now one of the examples that we're going to see um, is first and foremost uh, provisioning an uh, access list or an ACL. Uh, so when we go in and provision this ACL, what we're doing is we are giving it a name and then uh, that name PBR ACL is just going to classify a certain type of traffic. So we're going to permit a specific host at the address of 192.168.110.10 destined for anywhere. Now, obviously, we don't have to use an ACL like this. We can use any ACL. We can use a very advanced ACL. We can use a prefix list. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go in and start configuring our route map. When we go in and say route map and then we give it a name, we can go in and we can furthermore begin to do things such as permit or deny. And if we're expecting multiple different entries, we can even give, give it a sequence number. Now, if we don't specify anything such as a permit or deny or a sequence number, we're going to use some defaults. You should be familiar with what those defaults are. The default is going to be a permit and the sequence number is going to be 10. Now, if I don't specify a sequence number and then I go in and give another command, it's going to actually overwrite that original sequence number and that original line item. I'll show you an example here in a moment. Once I've gone in and set my permit or deny statement, then I can go in and start matching. Do I want to match on an ACL? Do I want to match and look at some other criteria? We can certainly do that. So we'll look at an example of that as well. Then our set statement is going to go in and say, what is it that you want to do? In this case, we're setting the next top IP to 10, 10, 10, 1. So we can alter the flow of this traffic for this one particular host if we'd like to, rather than using uh, maybe a default route or whatever we were using previously, we can change our next top to a different IP or a different interface or whatever it might be. So let's hop on over to, um, to a switch and uh, let's look at a configuration for this. Um, so ideally what we're doing is uh, we're gonna go in and we're going to specify our route map and maybe we just want to name it something simple like route map CCNP. Now we said if we just typed that it would take it. The default would be a permit and the sequence number would be 10. So if I wanted to maybe do something other than a permit 10, I could do something different. If I don't and I hit enter, then I can go in and start setting my match statements. If I just do a quick do show route map, I can see my route map's name that I just configured. I have a permit and a sequence of 10. Now, like I said, if we didn't want to do something like the permit of 10, we could always change that. 
if we didn't change that and we did route map CCNP and then we did like a deny and hit enter, that's going to overwrite what was previously configured. So do show route map. Notice our route map has changed. It's no longer a permit sequence 10. It's now a deny sequence 10. Um, next, what we have the ability to do is we can match on um, ACL or prefix list or a vast variety of different things. So as ideally what we're doing is we're permitting or denying this particular type of traffic. So if I do have an ACL or if I do have a specific host or if I want to do some cool stuff with either permitting or denying that specific traffic, then I just need to differentiate what that traffic is going to be. So if I do a match, look at all the vast variety of things I can match on. Metrics, um, interfaces, uh, packet length, local preference, lots and lots of cool things. If I want to reference an access list or a prefix list, we do need to specify IP and then address. A little bit different command set there, but that's what's going to give us that additional um, option of doing something like an access list or a prefix list. Um, I did have a prefix list that I uh, had uh, set already. So prefix list, I think I just called it test. Yep, took that. So I want to filter or I want to deny the traffic that matches that specific ACL that I named, uh, or excuse me, prefix list that I named test. Then of course I can go in and provision my set. Um, I can go in and, and change the, uh, the interface or the local preference or the metric, um, the MPLS label, the weight. There's such a vast variety of things that I can select from. So I hope this was helpful. Um, in addition to a match and a set, um, if you wanted to add additional line items or sequence numbers, maybe you want to um, add um, another permit or another deny, you can go in and add that. Um, when you do, you want to specify the sequence number, sequence number 20 or sequence number 30. And then just like a access control list, um, when it reads that route map, it's just going to go top to bottom. As soon as it meets one of the entries, um, it's going to go ahead and process that entry, um, and then it will no longer uh, go through the other sequence numbers. Uh, so uh, for those of you, uh, I hope that uh, this gave you some clarification. And Stormwind students, if you have any additional questions, certainly uh, shoot us a message uh, using that mentor link in our uh, in our campus environment so thank you so much and have a wonderful day